Hey guys, just another quick midweek video and something I've been observing in the last few weeks in the stock market, well, actually the last few months, and I had to get this off my chest. Market reaction lately has been absolutely crazy. I've looked at some of the stocks in my portfolio upon news releases, and I know the old saying, buy on rumor, sell on news, but there's been a number of stocks of late, TD Bank being one within this past uh, week, um, prior to that, Canadian Tire, just the reaction of the market based on news that comes out, it very well in both those cases was related to earnings reports. But in both cases, the Canadian Tire case, I believe the stock dropped like $8 the next day after the um, announcement of their earnings. Uh, in the case of TD Bank, I believe it dropped somewhere in the neighborhood of 3 or 4 maybe over $4. Uh, Bank of Nova Scotia had a severe drop as well, but then quickly recovered and went back up. And it's just got me to thinking over the last little while, seeing these sorts of things happen. It's like the stock market is really, really looking to punish companies very, very quickly as soon as things come out and earnings weren't met. What I've noticed, though, at the same time is shortly after that punishment, if you will, the stock generally or typically creeps back up to almost if not completely the same price that it was at and i'm not a day trader i'm not a stock flipper it's not really something that's in my nature to do so it's not really something that interests me at all but i do like to buy and accumulate and hold on to stocks and these little dips in the prices i think are glorious opportunities for people to have the opportunity to average down uh, if your price point is a little bit higher than current rates, when these sorts of things happen, these are the types of times that you want to have a little bit of money in the bank or money in your account to be able to capitalize on those. Because again, in the case of TD Bank, in the case of Canadian Tire, these are multinational corporations that are not going under. They're not, they're not a penny stock that's failing by any means. It's an overreaction by the market on a news release that came out about earnings. Now, if these trends continue and the next earnings release is dropped and the one after that it's dropped again, then I think we have a bit of a need for some concern. But other than that, I look at these as real, real quick overreaction in the market. And hopefully some of you out there have some money sitting on the side and are able to jump into these uh, stocks that are really tried and true blue chip stocks. Um, hitting a real low price at a certain point in time. And just one other comment that I'll add to that as well. These are two stocks that I've noticed in my own portfolio that this has happened in. But I've also noticed over the last couple of months as well, this happens on stocks without any news released. And it kind of makes me wonder, like, what the heck is going on? Uh, I have been involved in the market in one way or another for a great number of years, but I've only really in the last probably three or four years been watching the market almost every day and I don't know that I've seen anything like this before generally I've always seen prices for stocks and ETFs and, and everything gradually go up gradually go down the swings that we're seeing in the markets of late are absolutely crazy and if you are in the position where you're fortunate enough to have some really high quality stocks like the few that I've mentioned earlier or stocks like Fortis swinging up to 80 90 cents a dollar each day if you're a swing trader well then that's a great opportunity for you a day trader um, but even if you're a buy and hold uh, trader like I am um, seeing that stock drop you know up to a dollar a share that's a great opportunity to get in and like I said this is happening just on everyday stocks as well without any sort of news release so hopefully you're paying attention to the market hopefully you're seeing these swings and hopefully at the same time you have a little bit of cash on the side ready to jump in when these sorts of things happen thanks very much for sticking around for this few minutes hope you got something out of it and I always ask if you enjoy this video or any videos you've seen please smash that subscribe button and that like button take care we'll talk to you soon